hello everyone so today we will learn how to create a contact using ERP next all right so let's go to the contact okay now you can see that there, this is a contact list from here we can add a new contact so let's say I I want to create a contact for a person named John all right let's say John Smith okay and then we can enter these are the status of a particular contact whether the contact is a passive contact or it is open for the communication or the whether the contact has replied okay now this is a salutation that we can add so let's add okay and this is a designation so designation we can add once uh, if we if the particular contact is representing a company then we can enter the designation as well as the company name but since this particular contact is an individual they are independent they are representing themselves so let's just leave this blank for now okay let's enter the gender all right now we can also mention the address over here okay the user id will be created once i save this contact all right now let's add a uh, email id so let's say john at silkrootinvestments.com okay if i click on this particular box that means it is a primary uh, primary email which will be used for communication okay now i can also add the number contact info all right so depending on that we can enter all right and then we can check on this particular box if it is a primary mobile number or it's a telephone number so let's just say it's a primary phone okay now we have this reference over here so that uh, this reference basically means that whether this particular contact is a billing contact or if it is simply a primary contact all right now one more thing to note here is that a contact it can be associated with a lead and it can also be associated with a customer it can be associated with a supplier or a shareholder all right we'll see it over here so uh, here we can see that there is a link document type so we can say that this particular contact that i have just created that is john smith john smith can also be a lead it, he can be a customer he can be a shareholder all right so if i select on a lead that means that um, he should be present in the lead list that is he can also be created as a lead all right so this was about it and then uh, okay let's just save it okay so now i have created john smith as a contact in my system all right now one more thing over here is that we can invite uh, john smith as a user so what does this basically means if we are uh, allowing them to be a user that means that all of the contacts of our uh, whether they are customer or supplier so they can they'll be able to log into our ERP next system okay and they can view the data that is relevant to them all right so this was about it this was uh, inviting them as a user so once they have accepted um, then they'll be present in the user list okay so this was about it this was about um, how to create a contact and how a contact can be associated associated with a lead and then we can also create okay let's see okay let's go to the customer list from there okay here we have a Jonathan as a customer okay now for Jonathan uh, I can add a new contact over here so this is one way to create a uh, contact for a customer and then we have contact for lead and then we have contact for supplier so this way we can create a various contact all right so this was about it i hope you understood it thank you so much for watching